Hello and welcome to the first episode of Sarko CFR News. We're the same group, just further enhanced, and we'll continue to bring you your freight news updates on a weekly basis to keep you in the loop. In your freight news articles for this week, Transnet gives its commitments to address Cape Town port congestion, air freight rates ex China trending down for now, and last week's, last week's highlights. Links to the articles down below. In your air freight trade brief for this week, on the export side, Ethiopian Airlines have published updates at market rates effective 15 January. Uganda Airlines will have direct flights to Entebbe on a day 1, 2, 5 and 6 ex Joburg. Cattle Cargo have cancelled QR 1372 ex Cape Town on the 19th, 21st and 23rd of January. On the import side, a reminder that the Far East will have Chinese New Year from 31 January to 6 February. This will affect space, rates and validity of the rates for the next few weeks. Emirates have decreased their fuel surcharge ex Hong Kong. India have predicted that they will be entering a third wave of Omicron and this will affect all shipments in the region. As always, selected global national holidays for the week can be found using the link below. And for your ocean trade brief, starting in South Africa, where ports of Durban and Cape Town are experiencing delays due to a lack of manpower from an uptick in COVID-19 infections over the new year. This coupled with poor congestion and birthing delays is causing delays in container movements. In the North American region, the Midwest, South and East Coast of the USA is experiencing snowstorms and high winds. This will cause additional delays for cargo pickup and delivery. Brazil is still facing high cargo demands with constrained ca carrier capacity and severe equipment shortages. And in Italy, the service has been severely constrained with delays being experienced in quarter four of 2021 due to congestion in the transshipment ports of Las Palmas, which saw containers being delayed between three to five weeks. In December, further rail strikes resulted in delays of container movement. And with the backlog from the rail services, containers were moved by truck to and from the ports. However, with the festive season restrictions on trucking services in Italy, some delays were experienced, creating a backlog of containers in the CFS and ports. For the full ocean trade brief, please see the links down below. Thank you for watching Sarko CFR News. We'll see you again next week.